fabulous Cat Hall is coming up to the stage. Hi, I'm Cat Hall, and I'm going to talk to you about coming out. When I was 19, after a long and agonised period of questioning my sexuality, I came out as queer, which was ridiculous. First of all, look at what I'm wearing. And secondly, I found out I was gay when I was 14. I say found out and not worked it out because I actually heard it on the school grapevine. Did I know that Cat Hall was a lesbian? Oh shit, no I didn't. Thanks for sharing, Hannah. I'll stay away from her in the changing room. I didn't really know what lesbian meant, but I knew that it was true and that it was a bad thing. So after about a week of sleepless nights, I did the sensible thing and I decided to be straight. It really is that simple. <laughs> I don't know why more of us don't do it. And for the next five years, everything was absolutely fine with no repressed traumas at all until I ate that goddamn sausage. It was the same as taste the different sausage, and I really fucking did. It was second year of university, and I was feeling quite stressed about an essay I'd chosen to write on Henry Fielding's representations of transvestite women, which is very heterosexual, uh, and I was hiding it really well. Um, and I was pretty stressed, so I decided to treat myself to uh, a nice meal in. So I bought myself a glass bottle of wine, not plastic, because I'm class abroad, uh, and Sainsbury's Taste of different sausages and mash. I was sitting down to my delicious meal, feeling very pleased with myself, when about halfway through, I noticed something was wrong. There was a disgusting texture in my mouth, so I had a root around and pulled out not one, but two hairs. Two short, kinky hairs with the roots still attached. Two clearly pubic hairs. I gagged for the first and last time over a sausage. <laughs> I couldn't believe what I was seeing, so I turned to my housemate Jack and presented them to him. And he serenely asked me if they might be mine. Sorry Jack, I don't know about you, but when I'm cooking, I don't tend to stick my hands down my pants, pull out some peas and stick them in the saucepan. Not sure what he uses as garnish, but remind me to never eat with him again. So that was the beginning of my aversion to sausage. That and penises. And the pricks are attached to. <laughs> Sainsbury's has consigned me to a lifetime of prejudice and having to open the conversation on Tinder. What I really need is for a sympathetic supermarket to bring out a similarly contaminated Yonic range. For those that don't know, Yonic is the uh, vaginal version of phallic. I'm thinking, get some oysters, sprinkle them with pubes, and sell them on to me. You make a profit, and I get better. But <laughs> at this point, I think I'd probably just call it a happy trail and munch it down anyway. <laughs> Thank you.